What's up, everybody? Anton here from dropshiplifestyle.com. And in today's episode, I'm gonna be sharing the top Shopify apps and sales channels that I really do believe should be installed on everybody's store who is taking their e-commerce business seriously. Now, some of these, yes, are free, but some of them also are paid. And if that scares you, we'll go back to literally what I just said, which is if you are serious about your e-commerce business, even the apps that I'm about to show you that are paid should make up a tiny fraction of your business's potential revenue. And these are all designed to either increase customer satisfaction, which will lead to your business lasting longer, to increase your conversion rate, meaning turn more website visitors into buyers, or to increase your average order value, meaning to make more money from everybody that buys from you. And all of those three things are very important to the health of your business and the overall success. So again, even the paid ones, even though it might hurt, if you're used to really not spending anything on your business, I do encourage you to invest into them. If you are serious, you are growing your business and you wanna be doing this for the long term. Okay, without further ado, let's step into my office and we will get into the list for 2024. Not a bad view out there, guys, right? It almost looks too good to be true, a little bit fake. But let's go ahead and get started with talking about something that you might already have access to, which would save you some money with these apps. And that is the newest version of the Dropship Lifestyle theme. It is called Manhattan. At the time I am recording this, it was just released about three days ago. So I'm just gonna go through this page really quickly and show you some of the things that are built in with our newest theme. It has exit pop-ups built in, trust badges, social proof pop-ups, customized customizable notification bars, fully customizable add to cart button. It does have sticky add to cart built in, your standard cookie notice. It has mega menus. It has cross-selling functionality. So if you are a member of Dropship Lifestyle, you do have access to this. And all you need to do to get it is log in to the Dropship Blueprint, go to module three, which by the way is also entirely new. And then in lesson 3.2, download and install Shopify theme. You can click into this lesson and then you could find the link below it right down here to download that new theme. And again, I know we have all different types of people that listen to the podcast and that watch these videos. So I will go through the full list of apps and sales channels. But if you're a member, first start with the newest theme because a lot of this is built in. Okay, with that being said, let me go to the first app that I think every store should have, which is now called SC Bold Product Options, FKA, formerly known as Bold. And this is a great app if you have a store that has any type of customization options available. The examples they give in the Shopify app store is if people can type in certain names that would be printed onto your products. Or for example, if you wanted to include a gift note, you can have them enter in their text there. But something that we've always liked this app for is cross-selling. And again, I'll just show you this quickly. If you are using Manhattan, you can now build that in natively with the theme. So in the theme customizer, when you go to the theme settings, if you scroll down, you'll see, again, one of the many things that's built into Manhattan is cross-sell pop-up settings. And if you enable it, you can customize what you want your cross-sells to be. And then just to show you an example of this, I'll just go to our demo store here on Shaka Surfboards. And I'll go to this red surfboard here. And let's say somebody wanted to buy this and they click add to cart. You can control which products you want to pop up that they can then simply also add to their cart. So for example, if you were selling stand-up paddle boards, maybe this would be, do you want to add a paddle or do you want to add a carrying case or a car rack, whatever you want to do, you can add that natively with this app. Again, if you're not using Manhattan and you want this functionality, the app I recommend is now called SC Product Options. And I will mention that below in the description so you can easily find it in the Shopify app store. Okay, next app is called Hextom Quick Announcement Bar. Now, what we love about this is always when you get people on your store, there's most likely some type of message you want to use to show either scarcity or urgency. And while these can and should be built in to your product page, what's great about this app is that it allows you to put them right in the notification bar across the top of your site so that everybody can see them. Now, again, if you are using the newest Dropship Lifestyle Shopify theme, I'll just show you in the theme editor for everybody watching the video version of this. You can go to announcement bar and in the announcement bar setting, I'll just make it visible here. You can see that now pops up and this can be customized for all different pages of your store. It can link to different sections. You can have multiple announcements within your announcement bar. So if you are using Manhattan, you do not need to use that app. But if you're a Dropship Lifestyle member on another theme or you're not yet a member of Dropship Lifestyle, don't know why that would be the case, but if that's you, I would definitely recommend this app, Hextom Quick Announcement Bar. 
Okay, next app that I think every serious seller should have is Aftership. This one I feel like we've been using for the past 10 years, but for good reason. So this app basically allows you to do a few things. One of them is just have these automatic email automations that go out to your customers when their tracking information gets updated. So for example, if a product ships with UPS, you put that tracking number into Shopify, Aftership can automatically email them at every step of the process. So for example, the order left to the warehouse, the order arrived in your city, the order is out for delivery, the order has been delivered. Great app for staying in communication with customers, reducing the amount of inbound questions you have, like where's my product? And uh, again, it does what it's supposed to do. Something else it has that I really like is allow you to put a branded tracking page on your store. And this is a page where the customer can enter their order number and it will show them all that same tracking information unique to them. Very useful to, again, increase how happy your customers are and also reduce the amount of inbound customer service. Okay, next app is also not a new one, but it's still the top of the pick when it comes to review apps. For us, this is judge.me. This app, again, in my opinion, is miles ahead of other apps out there that offer product reviews. I would highly encourage everybody to use this. Not only does it make review collection easy, but it allows you to do things like add Q and A's to your product pages from previous customer questions. It allows you to display star ratings, both on Google Shopping and in organic organic search results. So it gets you a higher click-through rate. It leads to people coming to you that are more inclined to buy. And again, just well, well worth it to be unique and have reviews shown off across your store. Next app I'm gonna recommend, which this is technically now called a sales channel. Again, something new for this year is called Shopify Inbox. And this is live chat. So in the past, we've used different live chat apps that basically allow people to communicate with us when they go to one of our stores. They see a little widget in the bottom corner. If they click that, they can start conversations. The conversation then goes to my team. My team can then respond to, again, offer great service, answer questions, close more sales. But now, instead of needing additional apps that cost additional money, you can, and in my opinion, should use Shopify Inbox. This will again allow you to install live chat on your store. It's included with all Shopify plans, so zero extra dollars. And you can install the Shopify Inbox app on your phone. So if you're a solopreneur right now, you're handling everything yourself, the live chats will come straight to your phone through this app. You can respond there, again, increase your conversion rate, offer better service, and have it with you at all times. Something else that's pretty cool about Shopify Inbox is that it uses Shopify Magic, which is their built-in AI tool, and you can actually have questions that you already have answers stored to. So the AI can recognize what type of question it is, and based on the settings that you configure inside of the Shopify Inbox app, it can actually answer some basic questions for you. So again, just less work on your part, again, for zero extra dollars. Okay. Next app I recommend for anybody that's a, 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 a tweaker, that probably sounds like the, the wrong word, but somebody that likes to play around with their code a lot, make a bunch of changes to their store, and maybe isn't that experienced and doesn't know if they're gonna break something or not. Well, this app called Rewind Backups allows you to do just what it says, which is back up your store. So let's say you do get into your code base and start making a bunch of changes and then you break something. Well, you can now restore a backup so you don't need to hire a developer or spend hours trying to figure out what went wrong in the code. This will back it up for you. Again, if you're going to be making lots of changes and you're not that comfortable with code, this app is definitely a lifesaver. And again, it can save you a lot of time in the long run. Okay, next app that I recommend everybody use is called Smart SEO. And this is an app that replaces a previous app that we used that the price went up on in a big way. And now you can get that for a much better price with this app, Smart SEO. This does a bunch of things that I really like. Most of them, you do have to go to the pro plan to use, which is about 10 bucks a month. It shows you if there's any broken links on your store so you could fix them. Obviously helps with SEO. It helps with image optimization. So if you uploaded a bunch of huge image files to your store, it will compress them for you, which will make your site load faster, which helps with SEO. It also helps with AI generated meta tags. Again, that helps with search. My favorite thing though is JSON LD, which basically takes your e-commerce information from your product pages and lets Google know exactly what that product page is. So product price, product collection, in stock or out of stock, all the things that Google really wants to know about e-commerce pages, this gives to Google. So that way when people are searching for your product, and they find
find you organically. That information can also easily be listed under that organic result. Again, getting you more clicks, leading to better search results, leading to more sales. It does some more things too, but those are the things I really like it for. Next app that I recommend everybody use, this is also different by the way for this year, is Shopify email. Now, Klaviyo probably heard of it if you've been on Shopify for any amount of time. I love Klaviyo, I still do. We've used them again for what seems like ever, but Shopify email over this past year has got much more powerful. I'll tell you at this point, they're still not doing SMS. So if you do like SMS and you're using that in Klaviyo, then you should stick with it for now. But Shopify email now does almost everything Klaviyo does. And it comes with 10,000 free emails that you can send every single month. Whether that be promotion emails, abandoned card emails, post-purchase emails, you can build them all in Shopify email. And again, send 10,000 of them every month for zero extra dollars. This is included in your Shopify plan. And if you're not already up and running on Klaviyo and happy with it, my advice is get started with Shopify email, save yourself that money and get basically the same results. Okay. Next app that I wanna talk about, again, this is not a new one, but this is a necessary one in my opinion, is called Symprosis Google Shopping Feed. This one basically allows you to easily customize your product feed in a very detailed way so that when you are submitting your product feeds to Google Shopping, to Bing, when you're submitting it even to Facebook, if you wanna use this as your connection there, you can make sure that your feed is 100% optimized at however deep of a level you want to do that. And instead of having to use some of Shopify's native tools, it's well worth, in my opinion, paying the five bucks a month for this app to get that higher level of control and to get better results from your shopping ads and from your free Google product listings. So if you're not using this already, in my opinion, this is a must have. Now, next, we're gonna get into sales channels. Sales channels, basically are the same things as apps, but the way Shopify defines this is you can also sell directly through these. So the first one that every store should have is called Google and YouTube. Again, it's the Google and YouTube sales channel. Now, people might get a little thrown off here because one of the things that this sales channel allows you to do is connect your product feed to Google Merchant Center. We do not use it for that, and I recommend you do not either. Again, use feed for Google Shopping for that, the app I just mentioned. But for this sales channel, what it allows you to do is connect your Google Analytics 4 account to your Shopify store. And because this sales channel is built by Shopify, the level of integration between the data that's gonna be passed back and forth between Google Analytics and Shopify is basically at a, the deepest level it can be at, and it just works out of the box. So my advice, again, if you're up and running on Shopify is install this sales channel, but only use it for the connection between your store and Google Analytics 4. Okay. Next sales channel I recommend is Facebook and Instagram. Again, built by Shopify, cost you $0. This sales channel also does allow you to submit your product feed to Facebook if you want to do so. Again, if you want to, you can also do that at a deeper level with the feed for Google Shopping app. But the main thing that we really like this app for is the level of data sharing that it allows between your Shopify account and Facebook, your Facebook business account. And on top of that, it also does allow people to check out a bit faster when they are going through the checkout process process and they see one of your remarketing ads on Facebook. So definitely encourage everybody to use this. Again, it's called the Facebook and Instagram sales channel. All right, next one we have is called the shop channel. Now, again, built by Shopify, cost you zero extra dollars, every store should have it. If you're not aware, Shopify has an app that is called the Shop app. It allows customers to easily track their orders, but it also allows them to see different products that they can purchase. And by installing and configuring this sales channel on your store, it gives you one more place to have exposure and eyeballs on your products. And again, also makes it easier for customers that are tracking their orders. Because as you might know, there are many Shopify stores out there, and this keeps all of those orders for your customers in one centralized app on their phone. All right. Last but not least, this one you don't have to install. It's there by default on your Shopify account, but it's worth mentioning. This is called Shopify Automations, and this allows you to basically set if this, then that rules. So the example they give is if a customer subscribes to email marketing, then send them this marketing email. So because we are now using Shopify email, this allows us to configure the settings, for example, to kick off abandoned cart emails or post-purchase emails or promotion emails. That can all be done with Shopify automations. Again, you don't need to install this. It will be on your store by default, but worth mentioning that if you're using Shopify email, you should also be using Shopify automations. Now, 
The last app that I'm going to recommend is I believe the most expensive and it's not because of the app, but it's because of the software you need to actually connect it and make it work. This is called Zapier Workflow Automation. To get Zapier to work with Shopify, again, it is just under 30 bucks a month. But what I love about this is basically, if you're not familiar with Zapier, it's kind of like, you can call it almost like a middleman platform that connects one platform to another. So with Shopify, we use this a lot to connect orders that come in on Shopify to our emails, to Google Sheets for tracking, uh, to, I mean, Slack notifications, really like, tons of different things. And I'm not gonna get into them all in this lesson because they actually make up almost an entire module of the blueprint, module seven. But some examples would be, if there is an abandoned cart on your store, 15 minutes later, send a Slack notification with the abandoned cart customer's name, email address, phone number, and products they were looking at so that you, again, if you're a solopreneur or someone on your team can text that person, can call that person, can close more sales. Um, another thing we do with this is send orders into Trello so we can keep track of where they are in the order process. And uh, yeah, it's just really powerful to, again, make things automated to save yourself time that you might find yourself focusing on day to day. But um, to end this, we'll just go back to where we started, which again, a lot of the different things we just went through are included with the brand new Dropship Lifestyle Shopify theme, which again is available for members of Dropship Lifestyle. You could find it in module three, which again is all brand new lessons as of a few days ago. And all you need to do is go to lesson 3.2 and you can find that download link below the lesson. And if you are listening to this or watching this right now and you're not yet a member of Dropship Lifestyle and you want this, my advice would be to go to Dropship website webinar.com. I'll link that up in the description. You get a free training from me there, plus a list of 500 profitable product ideas for 2024, plus a special offer on our award-winning Dropship Blueprint, which is the only program to ever be voted best e-commerce course by Shopify. So with that being said, guys, as always, I hope you found value from this list. If you did, let me know by leaving a thumbs up, leaving a review on your podcast player of choice if you listen there, and of course, by leaving a comment. So as always, thank you. I appreciate you. And I'll talk to you on Monday for the next episode of Dropship Weekly. See everybody.